Besides driving, what is the most dangerous part of any Highline trip? Check it out on this episode of How Not to Highline. Hey guys, welcome to the rostrum at Yosemite National Park, where today we're gonna to talk about being clipped in when you're rigging an anchor, standing near a cliff edge, or even before you tie in. Because standing near a cliff edge, not tied in, is always gonna be your number one risk to any Highline trip. First from our bad example. Here we're rigging the Rostrum 115 anchor and have our backs to the cliff, running around, and all sorts of activity, while only being clipped into one daisy, and I don't even believe Garrison is clipped in. This is the most risk we're at during the entire Highline trip. Okay, here I'm building the 80 footer at the Rostrum, and I wanna really stay clipped in while I'm trying to build this right next to a thousand foot cliff. So, uh, it's very, very important to have an anchor that gives you some adjustability uh, so I can stay clipped in, but at the same time you want it to be uh, beefy enough to actually catch you if it had to go over a cliff edge. What I don't like about my personal anchor system right now is it's pretty long. It's adjusted all the way to the shortest I can make it, and I would take a pretty static fall right now. If I extended it all the way out, and that makes me nervous right there. That's a pretty long fall. And Highliner's love redundancy. So I'm going to clip something that's a little bit more adjustable and can keep me a little bit snugger. But this kind of daisy, this adjustable daisy is not something you want to be falling on. Redundancy is very important. So I have two clipping points, two daisies, in case one fails. Because I really don't want to be leaning backwards right now 100% on this daisy and that's the only thing keeping me from falling a thousand feet right now. This is adjustable if I want to lean out further and reach out for my uh, tension system or my web locks or anything that I have out here. But uh, you don't want to take a static shock load on this. This isn't designed for that and it would probably cut through if it were to go over the edge here. This is a little too long uh, the ideal situation would be more of a dynamic rope as your backup and you never want to have slack in an adjustable daisy such as this and so you have the freedom to walk around. Like what I'm doing right now could shock load that and it could either break or break me. So you want to keep something like this really tight while you're building your anchor. Now I'm at the Rostrum 115 anchor where it's a much more chill ledge to rig on and even tie in with but this is this is probably where we're gonna have uh, the most risk on any Highline uh, when you don't feel utterly scared standing near the cliff edge. Um, in this case I have a tight daisy I only have one I don't have anything redundant yet um, if I wanted to reach out and work anything on a tension system I'm gonna want to do this and have this slack in here. And now if I were to slip and fall, I am gonna take a static shock on that little guy. So, I'm gonna add a little redundancy here. And if I want to adjust how far out I can reach, I would clip to my handy dandy web lock or something, and I could reach out pretty far with the daisies I have but um, I still would take quite the shock load. If you are at a risk for taking a shock load, it would be much better to clip into a dynamic rope or having a dynamic rope available for anybody who's about to tie in and doesn't want to lean over the edge to grab the leash. A rope is probably the best solution if I am going to be at risk for a dynamic fall over a cliff edge. It has the abrasion resistance and it has dynamicness. This on the other hand is adjustable. It can keep me a little snugger. So I can reach out and reach my tension systems, web locks, anything that I have to do over the cliff edge. For me to come in to grab this leash, I have to sit near this cliff edge and then I have to scoot a little closer in order to tie in. I am at a lot of risk of slipping right now. The ideal situation is to have a tail of a dynamic rope or something that's easily reachable and allows me to clip in from back there. I can put that on while I stand here 
to tie my leash. And until I'm safe on this thing, I should not undo my personal anchor. Okay guys, it's really important to stay clipped in whenever you're standing near a cliff, whether you're rigging, taking shots of your friend, or tying into the leash. It's important to have redundancy. Have something that you can actually fall on. It's nice to have the adjustable daisy so you have uh, feel safe while you're working, but this is really the thing that's gonna catch you and keep you alive. And never take a static fall on a static daisy such as this. Stay safe and stay clipped in. Since there is no perfect way to stay safe while working near a cliff edge, therefore, you shouldn't highlight. How Not to Highline series is a guide for slackers transitioning into highlining. We are not here to spoon feed the right rigging techniques. We are here to empower slackers to critically analyze any system they may use. Risk awareness can keep people alive. Please don't rig your first highline without an expert. We have too many wonderful and generous people in our highlining community to go risk rigging your first highline after watching YouTube tutorials. Let's keep this sport safe. And remember, no system is perfect. Therefore, you shouldn't highline. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.